What's up guys, JDog here at Seekhost and in today's tutorial we are going to be learning how to add the Better Minecraft mod pack onto your server. Of course if you haven't got yourself a server yet head on over to seekhost.co, I'll leave the link down in the description, you can check out the server hosting packages and you can grab one for as little as $2 per month. Next up you're going to need the Better Minecraft Forge mod pack and this is going to be for the 1.16.5, we'll have a separate video for the latest version of 1.18.1 and last of all we're going to be using FileZilla which I'll also leave a link for to have a video just to explain how you can use FileZilla to manage your server files. So first things first, no matter what um, what you're using, we're going to have to change over our server version to use a custom jar. Now, first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stop the server and, and I'm just going to delete everything to make sure that we have a nice brand new server with literally nothing on so we can upload all the server files. Now the server stopped, I'm going to load in uh, FileZilla. Again, if you haven't used FileZilla before, I'll have a link in the description and that will just run you through how to connect your server using FileZilla. Either way, these are the files that we do have currently, so I'm just going to delete all of these. We don't need any of these and that's all done so next things next is we're going to go and we're going to download the minecraft uh, forge version and just make sure there is the latest 1.16.5 now for the better minecraft um, forge mod pack for 1.16.5 we're going to come down and we're going to come down to where it says server pack and look for the little r version here so we're just going to click on that to open up the right page make sure we're downloading the right thing uh, once you're on this page here you see it actually does say server pack it's for the game version 1.16.5 and we're going to go ahead and download the file on your downloads folder you're going to see that we now have that so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to right hand click i'm going to cut and then i'm going to move this over to a desktop or somewhere much easier that you're going to be able to use it much easier or find it so i'm just going to come to my desktop i would suggest just to create yourself a folder on here as you can see i've got better mc it's got nothing in so i just created a folder and we're going to paste it within this folder once we pasted it i'm just going to right hand click go to 7zip and we're going to extract here obviously use whatever extraction methods you have if you don't have 7zip it's free to use um, it's really good as well it's really fast and it's good for extracting and also zip zipping things. Either way you're going to end up with another folder, we can now delete the zipped folder because we don't need that anymore and we can open this up. Now pretty much the only thing that we're going to need to change in here is just where it says forge.jar because we're going to be using a custom jar lo to load this into the server. We're going to right hand click here, go to rename and then change the forge from before the jar uh, to custom. So it's going to be custom.jar. Now if you're not seeing the .jar bit you can also go to view and just make sure that this little bit here is ticked file extension name if i untick this it will take it away it will just say custom if i tick this you see that it says dot jar either way that is all ready to go now now we head on over to our server this is still stopped and it has absolutely nothing on still so what i'm going to do is i'm going to come down to the server jar option here and we're going to look until we find custom jar once that's done just make sure to hit save as well so now before we start the server, we're going to go back to our um, empty server right here. We're going to find on, um, obviously on the left hand side, using FileZilla, we're going to find uh, the desktop area. From the desktop, we're going to find the new uh, Better MC or whatever you called it on your folder. We're going to open that up and we're going to see that we have all the files there. Now, simply a case of dragging and dropping them over to the right hand side, um, over to your server. Now, obviously, Better Minecraft does have quite a few mods on, so, uh, you know, realistically it depends on your PC, but it, it, could take anywhere for five to ten minutes um so yeah we'll load that up and i'll catch you in a minute awesome so that's all done now and we've got everything up on the server one more thing if you're using seeker host servers obviously this might differ depending on your host but if you're using seeker host servers what we need to do now where it is a mod pack we come down to show advanced settings and we change this from the demon uh, demon jar directory uh, to a server base directory so that was a server based directory and then we're going to hit save this is going to help to run if you've got any uh, mod packs or custom jars as well uh, you don't need to do this for any single mods if you're just doing a forge or a fabric server on your own this is just uh, yeah, custom jars or mod packs that you upload. So all there is to it now is just hitting start and your server will start up and load in everything as well. As you can see everything's starting to load in obviously you are going to get some errors with all mod packs unfortunately there are going to be little errors within it but um, we can see that it is transforming nicely. Now we won't go through actually how to join this um, I will quickly explain as it loads up obviously you have to uh, download the same mods or mod pack onto your server. The easiest thing that I find though is just to use the Curse Forge launcher super easy and quick to download it's also free i'll leave a link in the description um you just download the launcher you just search uh, better mod packs 116.5 you literally press install and then you can go ahead and play in fact let me just load that up right now so with the curse forge launcher it's just super easy you don't have to download forge jars it does everything for you um as you can see there i've got it literally right there it was easy as clicking install just search for it um 
up in the top bit right here. You can search for any other mod packs as well. But anyways, you can see I've got it there. Hit install, and then it's just a matter of hitting play. So that's how you can go on and uh, uh, load up on your server using the same mod pack. So this usually takes between a couple of minutes. I suppose if your PC is a little bit on the slower side, it might take five to ten minutes. Um, but this should be done any second now. Uh, once we've got a little tick, it means that we can then connect. Um, and obviously, just make sure that you are using the correct version. This should now work if I go... Um, Back over here, there we go, we've got the tick, our server is online. Everything's loaded up nicely and you are now able to join your server. So thanks for watching guys again. For any Minecraft servers, head on over to seekhost.com. You're going to find yourself a great package even if you want a small server for you and a few friends or whether you want an extra large server to be running huge mod packs on and having hundreds of people join. So thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time on the next video. Bye bye.